Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you the new and maybe improved Binance Futures grid trading bot. And I will actually be configuring two different bots based on the new features and deploying both to see which one performs better than the other. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button as I will be doing a review and an update on the performance of both bots and compare which one actually did better. So with that all being said, let's get to it. So Binance upgraded their grid trading bot and added neutral, long, and short as options for the grid trading bot. And what that basically means now, you can either go with neutral, which basically will either go long or short, depending on price action. You can choose to just go long with the trading bot. And in that case, all your positions will be long. So you'll buy long on the way down and sell for profit on the way up. Or you could go short, which again, as the price goes up, you would open short positions and buy for profit on the way down. And today I'll be deploying their neutral bot, which they say create sell and buy orders with grid, but no positions, ideal for range bound markets. And it's important to note, I'll be trading BTC USDT perpetual contracts. And if we jump over to a chart and we take a look at the one hour time frame on BTC USDT, it is somewhat range bound between about 62,000 and down around 50,000. It is kind of moving sideways between that range. So the neutral bot might be the ideal weapon for this particular market. The other bot I will be deploying will be the open long position with grid, which is ideal for trending and volatile bull markets. Now, Bitcoin is in a current bull market over the long term. And as we all know, Bitcoin can be very volatile. Again, a quick peek at the chart and you can see the volatility within Bitcoin. And if I zoom out, you can see Bitcoin is definitely in an uptrend. So let's get to configuring the bot itself. And today I'll be selecting BTC USDT Perpetual. You can choose from a wide variety, including ETH, LTC. But today we'll be going with BTC USDT. Now I need to select my margin. And I have an option between cross and isolated. And cross basically means I would share my margin across any like asset positions. And since I'll be opening two positions with BTC USDT, those positions would share my margin. And if one of those positions went the wrong direction and got a margin call, it would actually liquidate both positions because they share the margin. So for the majority of my trades, I select isolated. And in this case, that's exactly what I will select is isolated. And that limits the margin to each individual position. So if one of them got a margin call, it only liquidates that one position and the other position would stay active. So I have my margin set at isolated. Now I need to select leverage and the leverage will basically be used to multiply your initial margin. The initial margin is the amount of funds you actually bring to the position and that is typically your maximum exposure so in this case i've selected 9x i generally shoot for somewhere between 4 to 9x so i'll go ahead click confirm and now i need to select which bot i want to actually deploy and we'll start with the neutral bot which i believe is like the original version of this actual grid trading bot and then i need to determine my lower and upper price for the grid itself. And again, if we jump back over to the chart, I typically shoot for previous resistance and previous support for my upper and lower levels. But that is when I'm using a Bitscap trading bot and it has trailing up on the grid and the Binance bot does not have that feature. So instead of coming down perhaps into the 60,000 range, where there is a lot of resistance, I will give the bot more room to move because if it breaks this 60 level, the probability is a run to a new all time high. So I'm shooting for around the 64,000 level for my upper limit. And then for my lower limit, again, I would normally go for support and I see some support down around 
the 46 to 48,000 level. And so I'm going to shoot for around the 46,000 level for my lower limit price as there is some support down around this area. And the idea is to give the bot enough room to maneuver between the upper and lower levels. So my lower price level, I'm going to set at 46,000 and my upper price level, I'll set at 64,000. Next, I need to select the mode of the bot itself. And they have two options, arithmetic and geometric. As far as I can tell, the arithmetic is probably best suited for a market that is trending up. And as far as I can tell, the geometric is best for price action that is consolidating or moving sideways. And so I'm going to go with the geometric in this case, as I think Bitcoin is actually somewhat range bound like i mentioned earlier and so that's why i'm choosing geometric next i need to select the number of grids and i'm going to go with 40 grids and then my profit per grid including fees is going to be 0.79 percent next i need to give the bot some ammo and that is in the form of initial margin and in this case in order to fulfill the number of grids that i have selected i will need just around 251 usdt so we'll give the bot the 251 and this is my exposure to this particular bot if it gets liquidated i will be out 251 dollars because again this is isolated and therefore the margin only applies to this particular bot now the quantity order per grid essentially is going to be 0.001 btc and the total investment is $2,259 and what that equates to is 9x multiplied by my initial margin of $251 gets the total investment of 2,259 USDT. Now I could deploy the bot or I can set up some of the optional features and the first one is grid trigger. I can select this and in the past I would use the grid trigger price to create a long only bot by setting the price just below the current price. However, it appears I don't need to do that anymore as they now have a long only bot. So I'm not actually going to need the tr grid trigger price, but you could set the grid trigger price if you wanted to wait for this price to maybe pull back to support at around 56,000 and deploy the bot then or run up into the 60,000 level and you're looking at that to be resistance and for a pullback at that point you could deploy the bot at that moment if your strategy called for it i will not be using the trigger price and as soon as i hit create the bot will be deployed and ready for a live action now the stop trigger is essentially your stop loss whether it's at the bottom or the top of your grid and of course you always need to deploy a stop loss and in this case my bottom stop loss will be at the 43,000 level as I happen to know that is long-term support for Bitcoin. Now my stop loss for the top side of the grid is going to be 66,000. Next, I need to enable what I want it to actually do if my stop triggers are met. And the first option is cancel all orders on stop. And I have that enabled because I want all those grid orders canceled. I don't want the bot to continue if these levels are hit. And then the other option would be to close all positions on stop. And in this case, I'm not actually going to have it close all the positions on the stop of the bot as I will want to make the determination whether I want to close out the position. I might be holding Bitcoin at a much lower price if the price was to drop down around this range and I don't get liquidated. I'm okay actually holding Bitcoin at a lower price. So I don't want the bot to close all the positions on the stop. And that's pretty much it. The bot is configured and ready to deploy. So we'll just click create. And you can now see that I'm trading BTC USD perpetual contract. The direction is neutral. The mode is geometric. Leverage is 9x. Price range from 46,000 to 64,000 USDT. Number of grids will be 40. The quantity per order on grids is 0.001 BTC. 
Profit per grid is approximately going to be 0.79%. My initial margin or exposure is going to be $251. Total investment will equate to 2,259 USDT, which is the nine leverage multiplied by the, your initial margin. I did not deploy the grid trigger or trigger price. And then my stop loss is at 43,000 and my top stop loss is at 66,000. Click confirm and the grid has successfully been deployed. And if we jump back over to the chart, we can see the grid has been filled in and the bot is live and active. So depending on which direction this price action moves, I will either open a long position if it moves down. If it immediately moves up, I will enter a short position. And that pretty much does it for this bot. Now I need to deploy the second bot on the long only. Now I believe I can't actually deploy that on the same account because it would mix with the current grid trading bot. So I need to deploy that on another account. So I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm ready to deploy the second bot on a different account. So I need to come over to the derivatives tab. Once I've logged into my Binance account, go to the USDM futures tab, and that'll bring us to the futures trading terminal. And as you can see, I have my lines dropped in, but there are no grids set up because this is a different account and no bots are deployed yet. So I come over here to the grid trading. You see over here in the yellow letters in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, at least to me, I click on grid trading and that will load the strategy trading configuration page and so we'll start configuring the pair we're going to be trading will be the same BTC USDT the margin is going to be isolated the leverage we're going to use nine so that it mirrors the other bot we just deployed click confirm now we need to select the actual strategy for the bot and we're going to go long and in this case, it'll be long only positions. And then the lower price was 46,000. The upper price was 64,000. We are going geometric with 40 grids, which does give us the same 0.79% profit. My initial margin is 251. And then on the advanced options, we're not doing the grid trigger. The stop was at 43,000. The stop for the top level was at 66,000. And cancel all orders on stop. And that's it. So we're ready to create. And again, direction is long only. Mode is geometric. Leverage is 9x. Price range of 46,000 to 64,000. Number of grids of 40. Quantity per order is still that 0.001 BTC. Profit per grid is the same at 0.79%. Initial margin, 251 USDT, just like on the other bot. And total investment is the 2,259 USDT. So these figures are all matching. And then my stop loss at the bottom of the grid is 43,000. And my stop loss at the top of the grid is 66,000. Click confirm. And grid created successfully. And just like that, we jump over to the chart and the grid fills in. Now I should only be getting long positions. And with that being said, so that it has something to sell when it hits the red grid lines on the way up, the bot has already bought enough BTC to fulfill all those red orders on the way up. And so it looks like it bought 12 different positions as I'm at 0.012 BTC. And if we look at the total number of red grids on the way up, that does actually come to 12 grids, or in this case, they're technically limit orders. So if the price continues to move up, the bot would start selling the amount it bought upon deployment of the bot. So that pretty much wraps it up. I now have two different Binance Futures grid bots deployed. One is the neutral which is essentially the original version of their grid bot which will either go long or short depending on the price action 
And then the second bot is the long only bot. And I will be doing updates and comparisons in the near future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to Binance in the description down below. And remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.